All right, everybody. It is uh, Jake Freeman from Jake Freeman Inc. with a short little tutorial here. Now I'm doing a tutorial on uh, my video titled "City Explosion," which there should be a link somewhere in the description. Um, okay. So, um, just a few things that you would need for this tutorial: um, a video editing program that allows masking, such as uh, Motion 5, which is what I will be using. Or you can use Final Cut Pro, um, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, anything that allows masking. Now, another thing you will need for this is, I mean, you don't necessarily need this particular pack, but Action Pack Essentials, which is what I use, which is lots of stock footage of explosions, muzzle flares, and such. So, um, you, there should be a link to their website down in my description as well. Okay, so in Motion, we are going to open up a new project, and uh, you want to select uh, 30 frames per second. Um, I'm going to do it at uh, HD 720, and 17 seconds sounds good to me. And it will open up a new project. So first, we're going to drag in that uh, city footage. Oops. So I'm going to go into my Action Pack Essentials. And in the little tutorial section, they've got the city scene here. I haven't actually looked at any of their tutorials, but they also might be worth looking into if you're new to Action Pack Essentials. So here we have the, the little city stock footage. It's a few seconds long. So that's that. And another thing we'll need is an explosion. So we'll go into the uh, explosion section here, and we will take a look at some of a few of them here. Let's see, number. Let's see, that's one explosion. All right, this one, that one looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I will use this one. Okay, so we'll drag this into the clip. And we can see the whole explosion is here. So this all looks good. Now what we need to do is we need to kind of size it and position it where we want it to be. So you know you can rotate it and scale it. You always want to make sure you hold down shift while you're scaling it in any program. This will ensure that it scales evenly so you don't uh, mess with the dimensions too much. And zoom in here a little bit. So uh, I believe in the uh, original video I had it blowing up out from uh, behind this dumpster over here where this uh, man wearing a black suit is standing. So I will do that so for this one as well. So we want to shrink it down a little bit. Shrink it a little more. Okay, and this looks pretty good. Now, this is not quite good enough. If we were to play this back right now, it wouldn't quite look right. You know, it just kind of looked like an explosion just floating there. We kind of want to make it look like it's coming from behind the dumpster. So in order to do that, we need to make a little mask. So we'll select the explosion, and we'll go to a new mask here. We'll make a Bezier mask. All right, now we'll uncheck it so it becomes invisible. And now we're just going to draw the points around around the area where we would like it to show up. So and we're okay with it showing up everywhere else around here. Good, and let's put the explosion back here. And we'll give this a little bit of a feather. And then when we 
zoom out, it'll look as if the explosion is coming from behind the dumpster. Now, you can add more to this by adding, let's say, uh, add some debris maybe. You can go back into action pack, go into debris, and uh, like a cement collapse, or maybe uh, scattering debris. So you can always throw some of that in there. Not necessarily so big. Move it back a little bit. And then zoom out so we can scale it down. you kind of want to set it so when it scatters out you know it'll treat the road like a plane like a place to land so you kind of want to you know angle it right with that and then just as before you can make a make a mask on it Mask it with the explosion. And then you usually want to put the explosion on top of the debris. Just gonna move this right up above it. And there we have it. So the debris comes from behind the explosion. Uh, that would be it. Rate, comment, subscribe. That would be all.